Hey friends, I hope you're all doing really well. Thank you so much for joining me today here on Lumia. My name is Claire and today's Pick A Card reading is spilling the tea on this connection. So my intention for this reading is for it to be um, illuminating for you if you are in a situationship, a confusing connection, if you're not quite sure what's going on, you're getting mixed messages from somebody, then this should help you out. Okay, I've got three groups, let's take a look at them. Group one is the green flower agate, group two is the amethyst cluster, and group three is the agate moon. So take as much time as you need, listen to your intuition, let it guide you today. You're welcome to pause the video as always, if you need a little bit more time to make your selection. When you are ready, your timestamp are in the description box below this video. So head to your timestamp and I will see you in a moment. Hey everybody, welcome to your reading to everyone who picked group number one. This is for everyone who picked the beautiful green flower agate crystal. So nice. Okay, let's begin by drawing one of these cards from the Universal Love Oracle deck. See what's going on. Let's spill the tea on this connection. Get some insights into the energy surrounding this connection. Please know this is just a general reading. Uh, you know, it cannot possibly resonate with every single one of you out there. So just take what resonates and leave the rest. As always, you know how it works. Oh my goodness, you guys, you have the card Eternal Flame. I want to say to you, they still love you right? They still love you. They're still carrying this torch for you. So um, if that resonates, you know, you can take that. Otherwise, I just feel like this is maybe a connection from kind of many lifetimes. So if this person feels very familiar to you, this is why. It could also be the case that you are um, reconnecting with this person from you know, maybe you dated each other a little bit and then broke up, or maybe you were high school sweethearts and haven't seen each other for a while, but they've always carried this torch for you. I absolutely love this card. Um, very passionate. So yeah, that's very beautiful as well. Let's get one of these cards from uh, the Lovers Oracle. This is the card that you get. And it says, friendship, nurture the bonds of friendship within your relationship and your love life will dramatically improve. So they care about you so deeply. There are such beautiful emotions in this connection. They're carrying this torch for you. Spirit is really saying, uh, you know, maybe what I'm hearing is take it back to basics. So maybe if things feel a little bit confusing, maybe it's just a little bit too much pressure right now for you or for your person or just on this connection. Can you take it a step back? You don't need, even need to label it and just say, oh, we're just friends. It's just about nurturing that quality of friendship in the connection. You know, it can be very exciting. There can be a lot of uh, magnetic attraction, all of this. Um, and that can take us on that sort of roller coaster. But um, nurturing the friendship part of this connection is going to anchor you down into something more solid. And I'm here and get to know each other. So, you know, either getting to know each other and letting this develop or getting to know each other anew or at a deeper level, something like this. So it's just like that friendship is going to take the pressure off, you know, just hanging out together, listening to one another, um, getting to know each other, all of that, spending quality time together. This is what I see here. So um, it's really nice. Also, you know, this couple, it's really cute. And it looks like, it's actually like uh, flowers or something, but it looks like tattoos. So there may be a tattoo that is um, significant to you in this connection, or you may see someone with a tattoo, which is like a sign for you with uh, you and your person. <clears throat> wow, I love this. King of Wands showing up, Leo's energy, maybe Aries or Sagittarius. This is the general theme of your reading, so definitely um, a lot of passion in this connection, a lot to be experienced between you both, a lot of intensity. Again, I'm getting that past life sort of energy, which is why um, it can feel very intense between you both. Whoops, okay, a whole bunch wanting to come out here. So you get the Devil, Justice, Seven of Swords, and the Five of Cups. Interesting, you've got Capricorn's energy, Libra's energy uh, showing up here. 
in this connection as well, sun, moon, rising, or Venus. I feel like you're gaining kind of some sort of balance. Maybe there's been, it does look like there's been a lot of challenges here, and it does look like there, um, there may have been some cheating or a third party situation, not for everybody. I see this element of self-sabotage here between, excuse me, from your person. These can resonate vice versa. This is the fountain tarot that I'm using today. Uh, with the seven of swords, it can indicate some sort of self-sabotage. They're trying to like get some balance over an old pattern that they have with this devil energy. There is something here which they are, they're definitely gaining the upper hand, gaining control over this. It's something that they keep doing in themselves, in their lives, or this is like a pattern that's been showing up maybe in this connection where you know, we see this, there is love here, there is friendship here, but there is this, the, sh the shadow side is showing up in this reading. It's what I'm seeing with this devil energy. The shadow side is really showing up here. And it's coming, what I'm hearing from spirit is it's coming to light in order to be balanced, in order to heal. There's some sort of karmic pattern at play here for your person where, and this may be what you're experiencing. So if they're kind of like a little bit hot and cold or like their behavior is a little bit confusing, they're doing the best that they can with the information that they have. And like what's happening is that, that a lot is coming to the surface and they're processing uh, a lot of these issues where they tend to self-sabotage. But I just feel like they're in a phase now where they are kind of getting on top of that with this justice energy, right? They're learning to kind of balance this. They're learning about themselves. This is at the spiritual level. And they have realized that their behavior or the way that they show up for a connection or for you is ultimately, right, leaving them feeling with sorrow, essentially feeling unhappy in a situation. So these things are definitely balancing out in this connection. It's super interesting, but their shadow side, oh, you know, really showing up here. This could also be a pattern that they've had from other relationships in the past as well. That's what I'm seeing, because there's a lot of past energy here, right? So that's how sabotage could show up is that they're not treating you fairly in some way. It's like they feel sorry that they've abandoned you is what I want to hear or sorry that they've hurt you in some way. This feels a little bit heavy, actually. I feel like for some of you, this could have been a breakup. Like there's this energy of like, we tried our best and yet it sort of hasn't worked or it isn't working, right? Let's explore this further. This could be like on the surface of things. This could be an undercurrent that you're picking up on. Mm, but I feel like they haven't treated you fairly in some respect. It could just be that they haven't made time for you, right? But it's leaving you at a loss. So it could be that you're feeling lost. Your person is feeling very sad about things, about this situation, about the way that they've showed up for this connection. or you are feeling some sort of loss or sadness around this. Okay. Yeah, Temperance, Sagittarius energy here, Four of Pentacles and Six of Wands, Leo's energy showing up again, maybe Aries, Sagittarius, a lot of fire in this reading. I feel like you're protecting your heart space for definite. I feel like you're doing some healing work uh, in this situation. I do feel like there is pain here. I was a bit shocked actually by the opening of this reading because it's quite powerful. So I do feel like... Um, there is some pain in this connection at this time. Maybe you're in separation. Maybe you've been hurt by your person. I definitely sense that you're both hurting if that's the case, but you're both still carrying, have feelings for each other and carrying this torch for one another. If this isn't your reading, please know that spirit does want to connect with you today. So perhaps pick one of the other groups or uh, you know, reach towards one of the other readings on my channel. All my readings are timeless. So I feel like things are really balancing out. There's a lot in this reading about balance coming in with this temperance. It's like what I'm hearing from spirit is be gentle with yourself at this time. I feel like 
you're protecting your heart space and I feel like that's, hmm, it feels like a good thing to do. It's always good to do for a little while. It's kind of like you're working out what your boundaries are, you're working out what's okay for you and what's not okay for you at this time. There is this assimilation going on, this healing. I feel like the dust has sort of settled a little bit, but you're just like protecting yourself a little bit. But it's like you're holding on to this hope that this can be successful, right? That you can reunite or that this can reignite is what I want to hear, um, excuse me, what I want to say, that you can kind of reignite things with them and that this can, that you can reconnect, that this can be successful. It's like... You want them, there's this energy here where perhaps you want them to notice you or to kind of acknowledge your pain, right? Kind of acknowledge what it is that they've done, acknowledge that the way that they've been showing up has hurt you, right? I'm seeing that here. There's some sort of energy where you want them to acknowledge you. It could also be the case that maybe... Um, you want them to know that you're okay without them or you want to kind of send them some sort of message. Perhaps you're putting pictures on social media of what a great life you've got, of the travels or who you're dating or something like this. Not for all of you, just for some of you. And you're just sharing your life, but I just sense there is like a teeny tiny little undercurrent of like maybe hopefully they'll notice me or hopefully they'll get this message um, that I'm trying to send uh, surreptitiously, right? And that's okay, we're all human, we all do that. So. Uh, there may be a little bit of that, but overall, there's like this holding on energy, holding on to their energy, holding on to the hope that um, this can be healed, really. That this can be healed and that you can create some sort of success out of this. So I'm getting some sort of phoenix from the ashes sort of situation as well. So I don't know if you're in no contact or if you've broken up <clears throat> or perhaps you've had a big fight or something like this. This isn't the reading I was expecting, I've got to say. Perhaps it wasn't the reading that you were expecting either. But let's just see how this goes. But I do see a lot of balance coming in. I see a lot of healing coming in. But you've learnt a lot about yourself, about this person, as a result of the experiences. Right, Spirit, tell us how... What kind of energy is the person in? Group number one, what kind of energy is their person in? How do they feel? <clears throat> nice so we get the eight of wands the ace of cups and the page of cups lighter energies here i see them really wanting to kind of bridge this gap between you if there's been some sort of emotional gap where you're kind of not on the same page perhaps there's a physical distance between you um i see them this is so powerful i see them wanting to open their hearts there may be this energy if you don't know what you've got till it's gone. And there's this energy that I'm picking up on where they're kind of kicking themselves a little bit. Like there's a missed opportunity or they realize that they tripped themselves up a little bit and made a mistake and they feel a lot of kind of regret around this is what I'm picking up on from the past. But this energy here, like with these wands and this, this feels like the heart chakra to me, like this, like opening up all these kind of rays of sunshine. You know, what are you opening up? What are they opening up to? This beautiful Ace of Cups opening their heart to you. Opening their heart to you in order to be able to connect. I see that here. It's like what I'm hearing is blossoming open. So I see an expansion in this connection. I see you being able to connect at a deeper level, maybe through getting to know each other, maybe through this friendship that we opened the reading with. I see that they have beautiful feelings for you. Genuine, true love is what I'm hearing. And look at this page of cups as well. They're in this energy of kind of wanting to... They, they may want to apologize. If like an apology is kind of on, like required in this situation, then I see them wanting to do that. For definite, I see that you've been through some challenging times or some difficulties or like a struggle. Is what I'm seeing. And maybe you've taken a break from this or just like the dust has settled a little bit. 
but just a lot of forward motion with this, a lot of communication coming in, then being able to kind of communicate how they're feeling to you. But I see an apology coming in as well. If that is what is needed in this situation, I feel like they really want to express their love to you. It's like they just, this beautiful page of cups is like an innocence here. It's just like, can we start over? Can we begin again? Can we leave this in the past? Of kind of like just wanting to just be happy to have any time with you, to experience you and for things to feel easier and lighter and freer. And they're just like, there's this energy of just like, can we just get back to how we were at the beginning or how it used to be? Like this this kind of beautiful fresh energy and renewal and them just wanting to be with you and just to laugh with you and to flirt with you and just to connect to you. So I see them reaching out with communication to being able to express their feelings from the heart. Again, they're carrying this torch for you. And the energy that we get with the Page of Cups of these emotions having taken them by surprise. So maybe they didn't realize how much it would hurt to be without you. Or maybe they realized that they, um, they didn't expect this to be as painful as it was or they didn't realize how much they had hurt you or how much it would hurt you. And that in hurting you, it's hurt themselves. Again, not a message for all of you, just for some of you. But definitely this beautiful energy of kind of just wanting to be with you, to kind of flirt with you, to spend time with you, even if that's just as friends, because they care about you and they love you. But strong energy of them, like this impetus to want to come towards you to express their feelings, right? which I think is really beautiful and it's much lighter energy as well, right? Much lighter energy than you have experienced before. Okay, you get 10 of pentacles, three of wands and death. Scorpio's energy showing up in your reading now. So this is interesting. There is this desire for the long term, right? This connection has long term potential here. And it's kind of like exploring that, exploring that potential that we see here. Again, this beautiful energy of expansion, of them wanting to invest in you for the future. It's just like, where do we go from here, right? This is what I'm hearing. It's just like, where do we go from here? Just like, yes, this is a card, this Ten of Pentacles is a card of relationship. It's a card of them wanting to invest in you to experience this more, right? This could be a long distance connection for some of you. I see that here with this Three of Wands. I just like, but this is really what I'm, hearing is like, where can we go from here to make this successful, right? And they know that they've got to leave the old ways behind. With this death energy showing up here, this is like a powerful transformation. It's like what I'm hearing is I am willing to change. I am willing to change for you. I know this now. I am willing to change because this is what I want to experience. I want to have this connection with you, this relationship. I want to kind of grow this to see where this will take us. There's this energy of like, I don't really know where this will take us, but I'm prepared to go on the journey and I want to do this. And I know that some things are going to have to be left behind. Okay. So maybe some old behaviors, some old patterns, some old beliefs. Maybe it's a, a lingering connection with somebody else. They're just like, I'm putting this to bed now. I'm kind of done with this. And there is this energy, this strong transformation that's occurring with your person. And I really see that here. You know, opening, you know, we've got the devil showing up and the death. I just see this, like, as I'm looking at the cards here, this, this, this journey. Like if it was a film, there'd be like all these different stages that, and this kind of emotional roller coaster of going through this. But powerful transformation. This is what spirit wants to say to you. Powerful transformation leading to getting into a space where you can explore this, where you can kind of take this to the next level and kind of see where it takes you. Because there is a lot of goodness to be had here. There is long-term potential. There is a lot of goodness to be had. Your person is changing, right? This situation is changing as well. I see you being able to leave a lot of things in the past, right? There's, what I'm hearing is like a, a shedding, right, are kind of maybe leaving things behind in the past, 
letting sleeping dogs lie, just letting things lie. It's like a, a snake shedding its skin a little bit as well. Shedding some of this could be energetic, shedding some of those old energies in order to move forward. But a big, big transformation is coming, right? If you're just like, gosh, I need a miracle in this connection to kind of make this work, or this person would have to show up in a totally different way. I see that because your person is changing. This feels like a full stop with this death card. Uh, I think you call it a period in America. Sounds a bit strange um, in, the, in English, um, in England, sorry. Uh, but yeah, this kind of real like, we're drawing a line in the sand here. This is where this ends. This is where I stop being like this, right? Let's draw some cards, see what it is that we've got coming up for you. <clears throat> so there are some heavier energies here, but I see them moving into lighter energies. Feels very positive. Look at this, you get the card Crossroads. Interesting, so maybe you feel like that at this time that you're really, there's like different signposts uh, going in different directions. So it's just like maybe you feel like you're really uh, a pivotal moment in this connection. And I really sense that because the energies are quite intense that you're at a pivotal moment here, just like, well, is this gonna be a thing? Are we gonna continue with this? What's gonna happen next? Which direction are we gonna take this? So we're gonna take it in the in the way of separation, are we gonna take it in the way of togetherness? We have abandoned, mirroring that five of cups energy. I think I mentioned that as kind of feeling abandoned. I feel like someone's kind of abandoned themselves in this connection a little bit. Maybe you feel like you've been abandoned. Maybe they've gone kind of missing in action a little bit for some of you. This definitely feels quite intense in terms of the energies. We have the heart, excuse me, the card heart wall from the Echo Soul Oracle deck, one of the Lumiere decks. This is like mirroring that Four of Pentacles energy, whereas picking up that um, you were protecting your heart space, your energy. You're just like, this is strong energy of just like, I don't want to let you in because of what you've done or what you've said or what's happened or how you've been showing up. I'm not sure about this, or this could be something from a past relationship that you're carrying with you and it's making it difficult for you both to connect with one another. Maybe something that you wanna um, reflect on if that resonates with you, if you feel called to. Uh, perhaps you're both protecting yourselves and this stopping the kind of harmonious energy which is available to you. And I see that harmonious energy coming in, a big change coming in and harmonious energy as well. Mm, we get the card message. They definitely want to communicate with you. I do see that you're in like little to no contact maybe for some of you. Or well, they've got something important that they want to say to you. I definitely see that here with the eight of wands showing up. They're just like, oh, I've got something I want to say to you. Maybe it's that they want to apologize. Maybe they want to explain themselves. Or maybe they just want to connect with you, right? <clears throat> we have the card stargazing from the fairies oracle deck. Ah, oh, when, when you gaze at the stars, you give yourself fairy focus. Your intuition will flow more freely and reveal what you need to know about the situation. So listen to your intuition at this time. That is very important. Your intuition is really going to guide you. It's really going to lead uh, the way. Also, a star may be a sign for you or a symbol in this connection. So look out for stars as signs or symbols. Um, that your person is really thinking about you, that you are kind of connecting, that spirit is helping you out at this time. But definitely anchor down into your um, into your intuition. We have, excuse me, we connect on so many levels. So that eternal flame that we opened your reading with, it's just like, there's this energy of having been in each other's lives in many lifetimes, of you connecting in kind of mind and body and spirit. We open with this King of Wands as well, so I see a lot of forward motion here. It's just like, there is that desire between one another, but there is also this desire to kind of move things forward, to shift this energy, to make, um, I just wanna show you as well, like the imagery here is very similar with the Eight of Wands. There's like this 
you know, like these rays of sunshine, this rays of light coming out, of expanding, expanding the heart space, of expanding things, moving things forward. And that desire to kind of do that. We have, I love you regardless of how things seem. If I hold it really still, it might come into focus. I really want it to focus for you. Uh, this is the Wild Heart Oracle deck, another Lumiere deck. I don't think it will, so sorry. It says, I love you regardless of how things seem. So I feel like they may be wearing a mask or kind of um, even avoiding you for some of you a little bit or definitely avoiding their feelings or avoiding their deeper feelings. But this is what I was saying. It's just like, regardless of what's going on or what's, uh, what has passed between you, they still carry this torch for you or they are carrying this torch for you even if it's like been a long time. I love you regardless of how things seem. So this is a message from your person. They want you to know that they love you and they care about you. That is everything that I have for you in this reading. It's been quite a powerful reading. Let me know how it resonates in the comments and do give it a like. It's a beautiful way of supporting free tarot here on YouTube. If you feel called to, please check out my friend Misha. You may have heard me mention her. Misha is extremely gifted at reading the Akashic Records. The Akashic Records are like an energetic library of your own soul's journey. And you can ask whatever questions you want to um, for from the Akashic Records. You can get an insight into your soul's purpose into this connection, where it's going, are they your soulmate, are they your twin flame, uh, did you know them in a past life, all of this stuff can be revealed to you, it's a really, really powerful experience, you know, it really touches your heart, so if that resonates, Misha is offering $11.11 off her Akashic Record readings to Lumiere subscribers, check that out, it's in the description box, if you scroll right down, you will find Misha's details there and you can read loads more about it, but have an amazing week, I'm sending you love in your situation, and I look forward to seeing you again soon here on Lumiere, you take care, bye bye. Hey everybody, welcome to your reading to everyone who picked group number two, this is for everyone who picked the beautiful sparkly amethyst cluster crystals, so beautiful, powerful energies coming off here, I'm getting good energies about this reading already, uh, group number two, uh, even though we haven't started yet. So yes, let's spill the tea on this connection, find out what's going on with your person, what's going to happen, um, and just kind of the messages that spirit wants to bring through. You know, what, what spirit wants to bring through is kind of what's important for you to know right now to kind of bring to the surface. Please know this is just a general reading. So take what resonates, leave the rest. You know how it works. Okay. Get the card physical body. This is so beautiful. It may be the case that for some of you, um, you are suffering from some sort of illness or your person is or has some sort of condition which plays a factor, you know, maybe asthma or could be any number of things, migraines, I don't know, or some sort of issue uh, in this connection that you are suffering from or struggling with and if that's the case I'm really sorry and has is reflected in this connection a little bit um I don't know why that was the first message that I wanted to come out this is also just about kind of sensuality right usually when this card shows up this is about kind of sensuality of them wanting to experience you wanting to touch your skin touch your hair um you know to hold you like to be with you physically right either because you're apart and they want to experience you physically or because um, there's just like they want to explore that more or that they, excuse me, that they enjoy your kind of physical connection between you both, right? Okay, this is the card that you get from the Lover's Oracle. It says, when it comes to matters of the heart, there is no right or wrong. Every cho choice you make expands your understanding of life and of love. I have never, ever, ever drawn this card before in a reading. Um, it's very beautiful. There's a lot of hearts here. It feels like very gen gentle energy, a lot of cups energy here. It's really saying, you know, if you're just like, what's going to happen? What do I need to, there's this energy of like, if there's some resistance or friction of like, what's the right thing to do? Um, what's the right thing to say? How can I sort this situation out? How can we develop this? Um, if there's a lot of kind of that energy of logic of being up in your head, um, 
simmering anxiety between things. It says when it comes to matters of the heart, there is no right or wrong. Every choice you make expands your understanding of life and of love. Maybe there's this energy of just like, why did this have to happen? This could be a shadow from the past. Why did this have to happen to me? Or why is this happening to us? Um, and this connection, just this what I'm hearing from spirit is just kind of why? Or kind of a fear for some of you of kind of taking a wrong step and of, or of ruining things or thinking that you've ruined things or maybe, uh, you know, these energies can show up vice versa. So maybe your person's worried about doing the wrong thing or frightening someone away, something like this. So it's kind of showing up like that of just like self-doubt of kind of fear of yourself, fear of making a wrong decision, a wrong choice as to where this goes, spirit's really saying, look, there is no wrong choices, there is just life. Uh, the ego doesn't, our egos don't wanna know this, but there is just life, there is just expansion, there is just uh, lessons, understanding, learning. So you cannot do it wrong, you cannot go wrong, whether you're trying to make this work or expand this or manifest them, whatever it is, you cannot do it wrong. If you're just coming from that place of pure intention, right? there is no, no wrong. And just a kind of, um, this message I'm getting of just being gentle with yourself or gentle with each other, like this, you know, we're all human, we all make mistakes, we all get frightened, um, you know, we all have that ebb and flow of kind of wanting to be closer to someone and then, uh, you know, perhaps needing our own space or pulling away a little bit to kind of get back into our own energy, all of these things are natural and the, when we recognise that we flow with life a little bit. A little bit more right okay we've got the eight of swords again this energy that i'm picking up of of self-doubt of anxiety this is the general theme of the reading so someone in this connection not feeling confident about this connection not feeling confident about how the other person feels or where this is going or kind of what's going on between you or of just like this energy of like i'm not good enough or i've done the wrong thing or i've made a mistake right this could be you this could be your person really getting up in your head about things. That was the energy that was really coming forward um, through that Lover's Oracle card of just like, um, getting up in your head, kind of worrying like what's gonna happen about the future. A lot of future projecting is what I'm seeing, like going into the future, oh, this has happened now, this is gonna happen, um, and creating scenarios which are not necessarily the case. That's what I'm seeing. Interesting energies. Knight of Wands, the Empress, and the Seven of Wands in reverse, showing up for you. Libra's energy, Taurus energy as well. Leo's energy showing up in this reading. Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. So far, this is interesting. A lot of passion coming towards you. Feeling very passionate about you. I just see them as like, they see you as up on a pedestal, like regardless of your gender. Right, they see it's like they've identified you as the one. I feel like they've come towards you full force. I feel like they your person really kind of set the tone for this connection. Maybe there was a lot of flirtation, maybe things moved very, very quickly. It's like they identified you as the one or someone who's very, very special, someone who's very um kind of golden. I see it like that. Um as it comes through, but just someone who's very unique, very special, who they really, really connect with, um, who has a different feeling quality to anyone else they've ever experienced, right? So it's like this, this kind of up on a pedestal energy feels like, just like this identification of like, yes, I see you, yes, I really want this, and coming towards you full force. Now, that may have been that things moved a little bit too quickly, like it felt like it was a bit of a whirlwind, maybe you got swept up in their agenda or in their, um, perception of things or their time scale, right? And maybe it may have been a good idea to take things a little bit slower in hindsight, right? Whatever. But it's just like, I feel like you really just let your guard down in this connection. I just feel like their passion, their intensity, their like, yes, I choose you. Yes, I want you yes, I'm attracted to you, there feels like there's this full yes from your person, where they were very much like, not on your radar, and then in your life, right, one minute you're doing your own thing, living your own life, and the next minute, they're just there in your life, 
showing up 100% and it's like they really see you and it feels really intense and it feels like they see your soul and that they know you, right? And they see you as very beautiful or very handsome, they see you as amazing, right? And like them mirroring that to you elevates you, it makes you feel amazing and that can be kind of very addictive and very, there is a beautiful quality to that, that is a lovely thing to be mirrored um, by somebody else, right? And to be able to see ourselves in a way that we cannot see for ourselves without that mirroring from other people around us and from out from um, this person, right? That can be very beautiful. But I feel like you were wide open. You're just like, yeah. It's like you got on board with how they saw things. And it felt like a good idea at the time because it felt so good and it felt so nourishing and it felt delicious. And you're just like, yes, I'm completely open to you. I'm completely open to going on this journey. My heart is open to you. Yeah, you know, I feel like what I'm hearing from Spirit is getting swept along with their, their desires or their... their agenda or their perception of this connection. Let's expand this further. But yeah, identifying you as someone who's very special, someone who's got long-term potential, someone who they definitely like to have in their life, someone who's definitely a catch, somebody who's really special. What are we doing? Okay, yeah. Oh my goodness. I knew, I knew from the start this was going to be a brilliant reading. Really, like, interesting, powerful energies. This is fascinating, right? You ready for this? No. You get death, ace of pentacles, and the ace of cups. I'm getting this energy of, like, really tearing up, of kind of wanting to cry a little bit. Scorpio's energy here. Maybe Cancer Pisces, Scorpio. Yeah, Cancer Pisces, Scorpio. Showing up here. Scorpio very strongly. Sun, moon, rising, or Venus. Look, this is your energy here. It's just like this energy of just like, can we give this a chance? Can we give this another chance of kind of wanting to really, really, really wanting a change in this connection? Like, I just feel like some of this worry, this anxiety is just like, I've missed the opportunity here. This is never going to happen. This is never going to work. Um, this is over, perhaps, right? This is your energy. Um, and yet, and yet wanting another opportunity to experience this love, this energy of like, for some of you, can we start again? Or like, is there still a chance for us to experience this love? This is the energy that you're in, but you're, you're experiencing a lot of anxiety. It's quite a specific message. Um, today, if it's not your message, just remember you can always tune into one of the other groups. Spirit does want to connect with you or one of the other readings on my channel. Um, but I'm just seeing like you just, there's a lot of anxiety kind of being up in your head around this of just like, is this going to work? Have I missed the boat? Have we missed this opportunity? Will they ever come back? Is this really over? Is this over for real? And just this intense hope of just this love between you and this person having another chance at this and just them wanting you wanting them to reach out to you with this offer of love because like you see the specialness in this connection you see the power of this connection right it's like I'm hearing this strong message of them, you wanting them to reach out to you with something that is very meaningful, that is something with something that's very real. There's definitely this energy of wanting a fresh start. If things have got a little bit confusing or a little bit messy, there's such a strong energy of wanting a fresh start coming in. Okay. Uh, King of Pentacles, Taurus energy showing up here, Five of Cups and the Three of Pentacles. Here we go. It feels like, your person really feels like the long term, their kind of hopes for the long term, 
right, or for this connection have been shattered, right, or kind of dashed, right, it's, it's a little bit old fashioned, but they saw this the same way, they were just like, yeah, there's a relationship here, yeah, there's a lot of potential here, yeah, there's, this is someone that I can see myself being with, and for some reason, um, The energies are showing up as just like a loss. I wonder whether kind of fear undermined this in some way, right? There's just like this energy of just, of regret and of sorrow and of loss showing up here for what wasn't to be or what didn't transpire, right? It's just like, yeah, there was so much into this, this was so intense, I thought this was gonna be forever or I really wanted to do this and for some reason it hasn't worked out. Maybe there were life circumstances which stopped you from being together, responsibilities or work or something. There's this energy, I'm hearing that song, Love Will Tear Us Apart. I don't know uh, what that is, it's quite an old song, but it's just like, yeah. This is what I'm picking up on. So it's just like, there is love here. You do love each other, but maybe your shadow selves or your fears or your own self-doubt or your own uh, feeling of worthiness for to accept this love, maybe you, maybe this person, has undermined it in some way. Or like I was saying, for some of you, it could be your life circumstances. They feel like they've lost a lot. I don't know what's going on with you guys. But there's this energy of like, they feel like they've lost a lot. Something really good has been lost. It's like it didn't fulfill its potential in some way, right? There may have been a third party situation with this three of pentacles, not for all of you, if that's the case. Um, it's something you already know about. I feel like, they think that you've moved on or that you're seeing somebody else for some of you. Again, this is just a message for some of you that perhaps you are with somebody else or you've moved on with somebody else and that is creating some sadness with them. The other message that I'm getting is that they are willing to work on this with this Three of Pentacles. They're just like, I don't want to let go of this. I know that this can be salvaged and I wanna work on this. Let's be a team in this. Let's understand each other. There is this kind of energy of like a lesson as well, of like quite an intense lesson that's been learned as a result of that. And there's just like this energy of like, yes, I get this, I understand. But yeah, there's this strong energy from your person of like, of like not wanting to be without you and of wanting to make this work, right? Hmm, interesting. I knew this reading was gonna be good. I'm getting chills now. You get the devil, the lovers, and the 10 of cups. I am covered in goosebumps. Such strong energies, I can hardly even hold these cards. Okay, you've got Capricorn's energy, Gemini's energy showing up for you now uh, in this connection. This is so amazing. You may, right, what do I wanna say? Definitely this is soulmate energy showing up, you may be twin flames, right? If you're thinking, are we twin flames? I would say this is a strong confirmation that you are twin flames. I feel like there's a push-pull dynamic here, like I can't live with you, I can't live without you, right? There's a little bit of this here. They still identified you as the one from the beginning of this reading, definitely. You are, you have like a soul contract with this person. If this connection feels very intense, if it feels weird, if it feels like something you've not experienced before, if you feel like you're experiencing like a lot of psychic energy with this person, a lot of spiritual exchange, right? Even when they're not there or they're not with you or there's a lot that's going on under the surface, right? This is why this is a really deeply spiritual connection between you both, right? You do have a soul contract with one another in order to kind of accelerate your soul's growth, accelerate each other's expansion, right? 
that expansion in conscious awareness. This is how we all evolve spiritually, right? So you are learning lessons from one another, from being in each other's lives. You are uh, triggering one another, perhaps, is what I'm saying, and pushing each other towards your expansion, Ten of Cups, and towards greater happiness and fulfillment, right? So yes, I am getting this message that this may be quite a challenging relationship in this soul incarnation that you're experiencing on some level. It may be asking you to kind of go deeper within yourself, to ask those deeper questions, to um, maybe even to heal your shadow self, right? Maybe even to do that, you or your person, again, you know, this can resonate vice versa. There's a lot of mirroring going on here between you both, a lot of mirroring. It is powerful, but you have a soul contract. There is like, you are destined to meet each other. You're destined to have these experiences. You're destined to work through these things. And ultimately it will bring happiness for both of you, right? I do see a union here and a lot of happiness, emotional fulfillment, that kind of, that richness, that, that deep satisfaction and fulfillment of like a deep, deep connection that not everybody experiences in this lifetime. So I'm not surprised that it's triggering some anxiety for you in this situation. Let's take a look um, and get some other messages for you. Super powerful. Okay, we have the card Illusions. Clouded judgment and balanced skewed. This is exactly the energy of the Eight of Swords. Like, it's like a lot of your fears are unfounded. This is what Spirit wants you to say. There's no judgment, don't shoot the messenger. But a lot of your fears are unfounded. And what I'm, when we don't have all the information, when we don't have a full understanding of something, what we do is our minds, naturally, our mental process, tries to fill in the gaps in order to kind of make sense of things and to kind of feel safe, right? But what is happening is that your perception of this situation or of what's going on with your person or what they think or um, what they feel is not necessarily the truth, right? It could be just a story that your mind is making up in order to kind of feel better and it's not actually the truth of what's going on. So if you're just like, oh my goodness, they think this about me, that, you know, I've made a fool of myself, they don't respect me, I don't know, whatever it is, or just like they don't want to know me. It's a story that you're projecting onto reality, which isn't necessarily the case. Or this could be your person that who is, is, doing, is going through this process, right? So it's just like sorting through that kind of what is real and, you know, what is truth and what is... That, that pro that it's a natural process as well it's just what the mind does but sometimes it can be unhelpful we have the card shattered i don't think i've ever pulled this card before um uh, it says damage broken hearted destroyed so i just feel like this is mirroring that five of cups energy of that there is a loss here that your person is really experiencing some sort of uh, what I'm hearing for some is like a blow to the ego, right? It's not for all, but just for some, or just like that feeling of being brokenhearted, uh, of feeling lost, of feeling kind of sad and dejected about this, something that's happened between you both. I do feel that that was a result of some sort of triggering that's happened. Look at this, you get the cards Speak and Exchange from the Galaxy of Lovers Oracle Deck one of the Lumiere decks. So lovely. So this is just like, like I was saying, this exchange, exchanging energies with each other all the time, even if you're in no contact or no communication, you're always connected heart to heart, soul to soul. You're sharing a lot on the psychic, sort of in the 5D. But I see this opportunity for you to speak to each other, to kind of speak your truth, right? Some, I feel like someone in this connection has really got something to say. I feel like your person would really like to speak to you. They've got something important that they want to say to you. This feels like uh, meaningful communication with this exchange here. It's just like, you know, they want to talk to you about what's real. 
and in doing so it creates like this beautiful emotional exchange I love this right uh, right this is the one I want to go to I have the kind of leap of faith it's safe to make the move you're considering look at that so it's like taking that leap of faith in this connection like kind of like leaping forward like out of those fears right which are kind of illusions which are projections uh, which is that fear-based lack that the ego likes to reside in and to take that leap of faith and be like yeah, we can get back to where we were, we can really, it's like it is safe, it is safe for you to connect heart to heart, soul to soul, it is safe to move forward with this, right, <clears throat> look at this, this one just literally leapt out the deck, mastery, it says you have learned the spiritual lesson, Right, so it's like now you're on the other side of this. Maybe there's been some triggers, some challenges, some confusing energy, but it's just like you've learned so much about yourself and I'm feeling like I'm getting this image of just like you being really kind of solid in yourself. Yeah, this is my boundaries. This is how I see myself and I see myself completely clearly what it is that I want. This is what's creating this opportunity for you to take this leap of faith. And this is what you're going through together this kind of mastery, this like kind of taking it to the next level, right? Taking your knowledge and understanding to the next level. <laughs> we have, I don't react when people mention you. They're playing it cool. That's what that energy is, that energy of like, I'm just playing it cool. Like they're listening. They're listening, they're, their ears like prick up, they wanna know what you're doing, what people have to say about you, but they're just like, the pinnacle. Look at this, I'm becoming a better person. Overcoming those triggers, right? Overcoming those triggers in order to connect at a deeper level. What do they want to say to you? Group number two. It hurts to be without you, That mirroring that five of cups energy. So I sense maybe you are on a break or in no contact and they're definitely hurting with that. They feel like they've lost a lot or perhaps they've You've pulled away, or they've pulled away. Mm, I have so much I want to say to you. Again, this energy of just like, yes, they want to connect with you, they want to talk to you, they want to know what's going on with you. There's a lot that's at the forefront of their mind that's going round and round their mind um, and is taking up a lot of their energetic kind of mental headspace and they want to get that out. They want to be able to communicate with you, to be able to talk to you you know, mirroring that, that speak energy. So I see you being able to talk to one another about stuff that's really real and that making a really big difference. You know, being able to open up, to be vulnerable, to talk from the heart space. And it's gonna clear up a lot of this confusion, right? That there is a lot of these illusions, a lot of these fears, a lot of that kind of lack-based uh, thinking or that lack energy that you've been in in order to move forward to abundance. So I see this opportunity to kind of work through this, to work this out in order to take the next step. So I'm not saying like, this is the future here, but um, it's like you can both help each other to move forward, which is really nice. I see a lot of healthiness here as well. So it's good. Wow, that was intense. That's everything that I have for you in this reading today. I super enjoyed it. Please give it a like. It's a beautiful way of supporting free tarot here on the internet. If you feel called to, please check out my beautiful books, Attract Soulmate Love and Feminine Frequency. I have written those books from the heart. They are for the feminine energy partner, the partner who likes to be pursued, who likes to receive in romantic connections. There's always that yin and yang energy, masculine and feminine energy, which creates a attraction between two people. So if you want to get into alignment with this person or learn about how expressing your feminine energy can make you more magnetic and create more harmony in your romantic relationship, then these books are definitely for you. People have been uh, really, I've received really beautiful feedback from 
these books. It's all the stuff that I wish I'd known years ago as well. So check that out if that resonates with you, but have an amazing week. I'm sending you love and light in your situation. I look forward to seeing you again soon here on Lumiere. You take care. Bye-bye. Hey everybody, welcome to your reading to everyone who picked group number three. This is for everyone who picked this beautiful little agate moon. So beautiful and pretty. Let's spill the tea on this connection with you and your person. Let's find out what are the energies surrounding this connection? What is it that you need to know right now about this connection? What is it that they want to share with you? So, find out what's going on. Oh, we have the card Abundance. What a beautiful energy to come out. Lovely earth energy here. So this is like, I'm hearing kind of like about meeting each other's needs, um, that there's a lot of expansion in this connection, that it feels like very luscious, you know, it just feels like kind of very rich, very nourishing, that there's a lot to kind of experience here. I love this image as well of this uh, woman really holding on to something that's really solid. So regardless of your gender or the gender in your partnership, just of that kind of like that feeling of it being kind of very rooted and grounded and like holding on to something that feels kind of very real, something very, maybe that your person is very grounded or an earth sign or just uh, is very solid, you know, in their personality or just in the kind of their energetic frequency, right? That they're very, what you see is what you get, that kind of energy. But it just kind of says, look, there's a lot of richness in this, this connection. There's a lot of uh, expression, a lot that you can experience between one another says uh, that you get this little card from the Lover's Oracle. If you could do anything, what would it be? The answer dwells in your heart, not in your mind, for the heart is the gateway to the soul. That is so beautiful. So it's really like this message of listen to your heart in this connection. Your heart knows the way. Your heart is going to help this uh, connection to unfold and to be healthy and to move to the next level for you to be able to explore this, right? So it's no good kind of getting up in your head or trying to work this out logically. Some things, you know, some connection, some love, uh, this part of the human experience defies that logical uh, explanation for things. So it's just like, listen to your heart in this situation because your heart will not lead you astray. So uh, I absolutely love that. Let's take a look at the tarot, see what the tarot has to say about you and this person. Interesting, you get the fool. I don't get the fool coming out uh, from this deck very often. So Virgo's energy is showing up here uh, in your reading, Sun, Moon, Rising or Venus. But yeah, an interesting opening to your reading. You know, the fool is the first card in your reading and the first card in the deck as well. So this is just like, feels like you're at the beginning of something. So this could be at the beginning of this connection, of this relationship. You may be just like, where is this going? You know, what's gonna happen between us? What's gonna happen next? Um, I'm feeling like for some of you, this is someone you've met or a crush or just someone that you've got your eye on or you're not quite sure. Feels like the beginning. For some of you, it could be the beginning of another phase in this connection, right? Of kind of leaping into the unknown, not knowing what the future holds for you, but kind of being willing to experience it, taking that leap of faith, moving forward into this. Again, there's just this energy of like, there's a lot to experience here. This abundant energy feels like, you know, just an abundance of love. Often we um, perceive abundance as kind of, material things, prosperity, it could be that you or your person are, um, you know, quite comfortable financially, but I'm just sensing that this is like an abundance of energy that you share, like it's saying, spirit saying this is a really healthy connection, and it's like you're both willing to kind of, it's fresh energy coming into your life, and just to have this experience, and just being like, it's like there's nothing stopping you, there's nothing holding you back in this connection, it's just like, there's no baggage here, there's no issues. We're just gonna move forward with this. Without, what I'm hearing is without expectations, you know, not having any expectations of each other. And just kind of, what will be, will be. It's like, maybe that your person's quite easy going, or you are, right? I like it. Let's explore it more and see kind of what this all means.
interesting. You get the sun, oh, the nine of wands and the page of swords. Leo's energy showing up here very strongly uh, in this connection. So this is interesting. You may have met during the summertime. The summertime may be significant to you or just... Mm, Uh, or, or this could be like a holiday romance or something like this, or perhaps you live in a very kind of sunny place. I'm really picking up on this. Again, this energy, it's really mirroring that energy of expansion with this sun. It's like bringing a lot of illumination here. A lot of illumination coming in, new understanding coming in, just a lot of happiness and joy between you both. Like I was saying, this is so beautiful, the fall followed by the sun. Just a lot of happiness and joy that you can experience together, you know, sharing those good feelings, sharing a lot of laughter, sharing quality time together is what I'm seeing here. You get this nine of wands and this page of swords. So I feel like you're nearly there, right? If you haven't experienced this yet, or like a lot of these, a lot of that kind of feeling is just like something that you're hoping to experience, just like you know, does this have a future? Is this a thing between us? What's going on? What's happening next? You're so close to this with this nine of wands energy. You've definitely sparked like just a lot of good feelings between one another and a lot of curiosity with this page of swords. I sense that your person has a lot that they want to say to you, right? They just like talking to you. They like exchanging things with you. They like having experiences with you. I feel like this person is kind of watching you. Maybe they're checking you out on social media or hoping to bump into you, hoping to see you or hoping to hear you spoken of by people in um, who you kind of share connections with or contacts with. They're like hoping to kind of hear your name to find out what's going on. There's this energy of kind of will they, won't they, kind of what will happen next. It's like something's been established between you both. There's something that's been established between you both. I feel them kind of reaching out, wanting to connect with you, wanting to be able to talk to you, just about things really, just kind of about life, to share things. They want to tell you what's been going on with them. They love chatting to you. They get very, they, it feels like there's a lot of excited energy here. So maybe the case that there's a lot of flirtation, that it feels like there's a lot of potential, the kind of spark of attraction, this kind of thing. With this of just like, where is this going to take us? What's going to happen next? Uh, where is this going? But in like the most fun way. So it feels like there's a lot of fun here. Maybe you're quite lighthearted, they're quite lighthearted, a lot of flirtation, then checking you out on social media. Perhaps this is a connection where um, you've just kind of chatted online but not really spoken to each other in real life, but you're closer to kind of developing that. Be bringing a lot of happiness into each other's lives, is what I'm seeing. It's like what I'm hearing is they can see you clearly. They can see you clearly and they're definitely very curious about you, about what makes you tick. They wanna ask you questions, find out what kind of what's going on with you, what you're doing, where you're from or whatever, kind of what you're at in your life. Definitely fresh energy coming in. If you're kind of needing fresh energy in this connection, this is coming in for you. Oh, there's this energy here of kind of like, yeah, they're feeling the connection, but they've got their guard up a little bit, right? So there may be this energy of like being tentative, right, with one another, right? Just like, we're just exploring this. We're just, just seeing... Uh, kind of what's next or how this is going but there's this energy of being tentative of just like yeah I'm feeling it I feel you I'm you know I have these beautiful emotions for you you light up my life you bring me a lot of happiness uh, there's this energy of energy of like I wasn't really looking for anything like maybe love was the last thing on your mind or the last thing on your person's mind it but it feels tentative it's just like is this a thing isn't this a thing like a little bit of holding back or just like uh, shyness as well is what I'm hearing. Right? I just feel like you're just like, they haven't said anything. I'm not 100% sure. It feels like a thing, but nothing's really been said. They like talking to me, but they haven't said anything about how they really feel. There's a, a shyness and with that full energy as well. Uh, there seems to be a shyness from you or your person or maybe you're shy with each other. 
maybe you're quite confident in real life, like, or just generally in life or in your business life or whatever. But when it comes to, um, that's too many, that's like 25 cards. What's happening? Um, but when you come to this connection, it's just like, you get a little bit like shy, a little bit unsure of yourself, or your person does, even if they're acting really confident on the outside, they feel this uh, unsure of themselves. Let's take a look. This is so nice, right? You get the Hierophant, Eight of Swords, and the Three of Swords in the reverse. It's like, this, this is kind of how you're showing up, your energy's here. And it's really nice, Taurus energy, sun, moon, rising, or Venus showing up here. This is really nice. It's just like, yeah, this is, it's like you see this person as someone with a lot of potential. You're just like, yeah, this is a lot of potential for the long term. I feel like you're recognizing within yourself that, yeah, you'd like a kind of more traditional connection. Maybe you'd like that sort of, uh, you know, a committed relationship with this person at this time in your life. You really see that potential in them, even if it was something you weren't really looking for, you thought that you weren't at that stage in your life right now. I feel like there is a little bit of reticence on your part. I see you kind of like dancing around each other a little bit, right? Maybe you're friends and you're dancing around the issue of kind of being together or taking it further, or it's just been online and you're dancing around like taking that next step. I feel like there's this, you're kind of doing this dance between you both. I feel like you have a little bit of anxiety because you have been hurt in the past with this Three of Swords. It's something that you've healed from. It could be some baggage from the past. It could be um, an issue from the past. There's a lot of good feeling energy in this connection though, right? You feel like this is someone that you could really kind of get on board with, that you could really commit to, right? That you could really be like, yeah, I'm all in. This is a big yes from me. Um, but there is this doubt here. You're just like, you're doubting that they feel the same way. Maybe they've put you in the friend zone. Maybe you feel like you, they think, or you're making an assumption that, that you, they just want to be friends with you, right? So it's like, you're sure what you want. You are sure what you want and you want like a relationship with them. And you're just like, yes, I'm 100% behind this. I'm 100% on board with this. This feels very solid. But there is this doubt in your mind about what it is that you want. There's this doubt in your mind as to whether or not they feel the same. It's like, do they love me? Do they still love me? Are they into this? Can we make a go of this? I'd like to make a go of this. Do you feel the same way? Right? It feels quite cute. Quite sweet in a way. So I see you having these doubts about how they feel. Could be that you have a fear of rejection from this person. If you just say, look, I've got feelings for you, you're worried that that's going to be rejected, right? Or that your feelings aren't reciprocated or you're kind of getting a vibe from them. You know that this is a good thing. It's definitely like a good friendship or a good connection or that there's definitely a vibe between you both. I like this. Okay, Knight of Swords, King of Pentacles, and the Ten of Cups. This is how your person is really showing up, right? So the Knight of Swords is the fastest mover in the tarot. So more Taurus energy showing up here as well. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, also uh, Aquarius energy as well showing up in this reading. Um, but yes, your person really wants to move towards this. They want to create long-term happiness. They do want a relationship. I would say yes. They feel the same way. They're 100% into you. They may be coming into this realization. But I see them like, if they're in a different place to you physically, I see them being able to come towards you, to visit you, to be with you, to experience your energy. I feel like they've got a lot of communication coming in from them. They're wanting to talk to you and... Oh, what I'm hearing from spirit is kind of make this happen. You know, this king of pentacles is the she's just got real card. So it's just like, there's a lot of enthusiasm here that I see with this page of swords and this knight of swords. There's this like um, developing energy. It feels like a lot of enthusiasm, 
right? You're sharing a lot, sharing a lot of ideas, sharing time together, um, sharing your kind of insights into life in the world, and they're sharing their insights. So there's this like, what I'm hearing is like a synergy between you both, that you're of the one mind. So your person is really coming, they recognize this, um, they recognize this at the soul level, and this will come kind of into the, uh, into 3D reality as well, because this is like, this is, this King of Pentacles is mirroring that abundance energy of like someone who can really meet your needs, someone who can really meet you where you're at, somebody who's very, very genuine, right? Being there and they're just like, yes, they feel like this. They feel like, yes, I want this. This has got long-term potential to create a lot of long-term happiness. Both these cards are cards of relationship as well when I see this together. This is like moving very quickly towards relationship. If it's something that you haven't shared with one another or hasn't happened yet, it's gonna happen. It's just like, things are gonna get real. If things have just been on the periphery or you're just kind of sharing things energetically, you're not really sure. I see this being like anchored down, like rooted down into reality so that you can experience this, so that you can experience this love. They have strong loving feelings for you, right? You bring them a lot of emotional fulfillment and satisfaction. What I'm hearing is this is the real deal. This Knight of Swords, they're kind of wanting to move things forward with you to create something real. And this will just make them so happy. I feel like this person's a really solid, healthy person, like you both are. And then wanting to move towards this in order to create this happiness between you both, right? To create a happy union, to create a relationship. Because they see the potential of this as well. So I don't think you need to worry. We have the card Trust coming out. That one just flew out of the deck. Easier said than done. This situation is calling for you to have faith. You know, we were talking about this doubt, like I'm doubting what's gonna happen. I'm doubting the future. I'm doubting whether they feel the same way as me. I'm wondering if they're gonna reject me. Am I good enough for them? All of this kind of up in your headspace. Like you've identified what it is that you want. But Spirit is really saying, look, you don't need to worry. You don't need to worry. Trust in the unfolding of this process. This person is gonna like, if you can create this space for them and allow them to pick up the slack, right? They will do that. They're gonna to come towards you full force with this Knight of Swords energy with something that was gonna make you both really, really happy. But it's just about creating space for that. You know, when we're in that energy of anxiety, we're in the energy of kind of lack. Is this gonna work out? What's gonna happen? I'm worried about the future. Can you step back? Can you come home to yourself? Can you get anchor anchored in yourself? Focus on yourself for a little bit and let them come towards you. This is what they're really saying. It's just like, let them come towards you because they want to come towards you. But it's like, it's like it needs, it needs to be their idea. You can't persuade them. You can't hint. You can't make the first move. What I'm hearing from spirit is it's got to be their idea or it's, they've got to think that it's their idea, right? And it's about like creating this space. If like you've got a lot, you're getting up into your head and you're getting a lot of anxiety, it's natural, there's no blame, I completely understand. Um, or that self-doubt is going to create a little bit of a block or a bit of... Um, energy between you which is like static it's just like it's not that harmonious energy that you need when you come home to yourself get anchored in yourself it's going to create harmonious energy between you it's going to create that space that you need in order for your person to kind of um move forward towards you right and to come towards you with exactly what it is that you want is like what i'm hearing it's going to make you so so happy this is a really beautiful connection that you have with this person but there is this space that's needed in order, you know, maybe you need to give them a little bit of space, maybe you need to take a week just to go away or to um, let them think about things or just to, you know, have some time with your girlfriends or your guy friends, doing your own thing. There we go, we have let go of control issues. So the spirit is really saying, look, trust in this process, trust in the unfolding of this. You do not need to do anything 
anything to make this happen. You do not need to micromanage this. You do not need to persuade this person. You do not need to try and convince them of your merits or how wonderful you are. They know how wonderful you are already, right? They know that you are special. They see you as someone with a lot of potential. Just give them the space that they need to come to their own conclusions is what I'm hearing and let go of any need to micromanage or control. Again, no judgment, no blame from me. I completely understand. Um, no blame, no shame here on Lumia, right? But that's the message that Spirit has for you. Just like, can you come back into your own energy and um, settle back into yourself and kind of release that um, desire to want to control the outcome of this situation and just know that everything is working out for your highest good. They are into you. See good things. You know, imagine that in your mind's eye. Imagine what it is that you want, not what it is that you don't want. Imagine good things happening between you both and allowing that to unfold, creating that space for the universe to show its hand to you, right? You don't, you don't need to do everything. You do not need to control this situation or kind of make it happen. We have the card of releasing old patterns, mirroring that Eight of Swords energy here. So maybe that pattern in the past has been for you to, to like want to control things a little bit or wanting to hold on very tightly to things. And it's just, Spirit's just saying, look, just release your grip a little tiny bit, release your grip a little tiny bit and it will, um, it will start to flow for you in a way that feels very natural is what I'm hearing. You have obstacles and challenges, but in the reverse. So this is so good. This is like a release of uh, any issues that you may have had that are kind of stopping this from moving forward. If you've hit a sort of roadblock or like a little hump in the road where you're kind of not quite sure. Solutions is what I'm hearing. So there is a solution to this. I think the solution is really to kind of release your grip a little bit and to kind of let things naturally unfold. There is a kind of naturalness to this. So you don't want to kind of get in your own way. That's what I'm hearing. It's quite a specific message. Oh my goodness, protected. Such a beautiful message from Spirit for you saying you are safe and divinely guided. So Spirit is really saying, look, you can trust in the universe for... Um, to protect your interests, to protect you, to protect your heart. Obviously, you want to have your boundaries and things like this, but you are divinely protected and guided. And this is like, give it up and give it over to God. That same message coming through again. You are safe and divinely guided. So if you're worried about kind of getting hurt or, or of kind of history repeating itself, Spirit is really saying, look, you are safe in this situation. You are safe with this person. Oh my goodness, you've got the kind of rejection coming out. So there is this fear of rejection. This is what I was saying with this Eight of Swords and this Three of Swords in the reverse of just like that fear of rejection is maybe, this could be you, could be your person, right? Of those energies kind of coming out. And that's kind of the root of all this. That's the kind of obstacle and challenge that's, uh, there of just like I'm afraid that they don't want me or they don't still want me just know that you are completely desirable that you are chosen that you're amazing um, that you are loved that you are special you know step back that's that's what coming home to yourself means it makes you feel a little more, more grounded rather than your energy being scattered or um, projecting a lot out there which is natural we all do that I do that Oh my goodness, we have, you are part of my story. That's so beautiful. This is the Seasons of the Soul Oracle deck, one of the Lumiere decks. I feel like this is mirroring this energy of the fool of just like, yeah, we're destined to be together. We're destined to be part of each other's lives. This is the real deal. And, you know, I want to go on this adventure with you. I want to experience this with you. Again, this full energy is really about letting go of control. Like he's just like leaping off a cliff right now into the unknown. It's just like, can you do this without any guarantees of the future? Can you just have the experience and see what happens? Can you do that? Can you trust in the universe to take care of you, right? Or can you trust yourself to take care of yourself? 
But yeah, your person really wants to tell you that you are part of my story. Definitely part, you're definitely in each other's lives and part of each other's unfolding in this life. Oh, we have, I am eaten up with jealousy. Okay, maybe there's a little bit of jealousy in this mix. From you, maybe from your person. They've identified you as someone that they want to have this experience with. Um, they don't like to see you with other people. Oh, things aren't as they seem. This is interesting. So they may be showing up in a way, they may be playing it cool. Um, they may be like kind of hiding the depth of their feeling from you, which is why you're feeling a little bit confused. Mm. A little bit confused about kind of how, how they're feeling at this time. We have, I'm learning so much from you. So definitely um, some spiritual lessons in this connection where you are learning from one another, learning to open up is what I'm hearing. Going on that adventure, going on that new journey. Mm, and we have, I can see eternity in your eyes. Like I was saying with that um, King of Pentacles to the Ten of Cups, it's just like, yes, I can see I feel like this is something that's gone, that has a thread through many lifetimes, which is why you can see that eternity, right? The ego just likes to see our lives from this little tiny kind of one lifespan, but I feel like you're connected through many lives, which is really nice. Um, and, but also this is really saying, look, I can see potential with this. I can see the long term. When I look at you, this is what I see. I can see like a long-term commitment or a long-term love that we can share together and go on this adventure with our lives and explore and share a lot with one another. That's everything that I have for you in this reading today. It has been a really lovely reading. It feels very high vibrational. It feels very healthy. So it's just like this, can you flow with this situation and see kind of how it unfolds? That's your message today. Do give this reading a like. It's a beautiful way of supporting free tarot here on YouTube. If you feel called to, please check out my beautiful collection of Oracle decks that I've designed. I've designed them all from the heart. Uh, they're now available. I've got five decks for Twin Flame and Soulmate uh, readings um, and two other decks, so a Bohemian deck and a minimalist inspired deck if you like that aesthetic. You can check those out if it resonates. If you love indie decks or you're looking for a new deck for your collection, then you may find something there which resonates with you. But have an amazing week. I'm sending you love and light in your situation and I look forward to seeing you again soon here on Lumiere. You take care. Bye-bye.